Hola, what's up guys? John here. Buenas tardes. Here in the paradise. If you've been here, you already know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you gotta get your ass down here. Valentine's is coming up and you're guaranteed to find a Valentine's and fall in love here. I'll let you see let you guys see this during the day because it's uh, a little bit different than the way it looks at night, so you guys can kind of get an idea. This is the zona right here. That's Adelita's back there with the uh, the red and that little Vegas looking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pa uh, you can't see it past there, but it's all the way back there. And then uh, this is the Chavelas and then that's the HK and that's the hotel. This whole place gets uh, lit up at night with those uh, fluorescent lights and shit. But yeah, there's the limo that picks you up at the border. So that way, if you guys are scared to come down here, just take that limo, ain't no one gonna mess with you. And then uh, when I'm recording this, it's about to be Valentine's Day, so you guys can get your ass down here in time to go to their Valentine's Day party and uh, guaranteed to fall in love and meet Cupid or meet your, uh, and have your honeymoon for the night. So um, here already, it's early, it's a Friday and the hotel is booked out. There's a shitload of people in the lobbies and uh, arriving, a bunch of people arriving. You know, they always, it's starting to get more popular now. And there's where the girls go in, right there, that door back there with the picture of the girl um, behind the white truck. That's where the girls go in to go work, uh, to the office, to go to, to the dressing room. And then it's about five o'clock right now on a Friday afternoon, uh, I'm waiting for Tim. The 72 year old, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, he's here, that's the only reason I, I don't ever come here, but he always gets me out. He's a great guy to be around and uh, he's a giver, not a taker, he's a winner. And that's the only kind of people that I surround myself with. And I get a lot of invites and I don't, not to be an asshole or anything, I don't go out with anybody. And like, I'd rather stay with the girls versus hanging out with a bunch of dudes I don't know. So that's how, you know, I kind of live my life. But in this video, I want to uh, give you guys some shocking numbers that I did the math for like these girls that work here. So I'm gonna break it down. And the numbers that I calculated are gonna shock you guys because it's kind of mind blowing. This is something we don't think about. It's in the back of our minds, but we don't actually think about the actual figures and what it breaks down to of like, the amount of money the girls make and the amount of cocks that that go through them and so i don't know how i should say it so that way youtube won't block the video and um not show it to you guys but uh i'll just say it like that so that way uh you know we won't get it uh the 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 video banned so these girls when they come work here i'm gonna do an estimation of five days a week and eight hours a day and then this also is true for other countries. They have the eight hour shifts if they're working for bars and clubs. So they treat it like a job and they got the day shift and the night shift and the day shift is just like, if you were to, like a lot of girls like to work the day shift because it's like they could tell their family and whoever that they're going to a normal job as a receptionist or a waitress or in an office and an assistant. And then they go home at five and pick up their kids and their, their mom or their grandma, whoever's watching their kids can go home at that time. So they, it's like a normal life to them. And then they got the night shift that starts anywhere after five up until nine, 10, and they still got to get, no matter what time they come in, they got to put in their eight hours. So that's how it works. And so I'm gonna break it down. Um, some figures I did, I even put a little spreadsheet. I had my assistant put a spreadsheet together of what it is. And I'm gonna break down how much they can make in a year and how many cocks are running through them in that time and the number is quite shocking so uh let me open up my little here's a little spreadsheet right there that she put together my assistant's quite good she could do all this shit. and like as i'm sitting here like the broke boyfriends and the um the sucker simps are dropping off their girls at work it's kind of funny watching them get dropped off and give a kiss to their broke boyfriend or the simp as they go into work to go and do what they're about to do with like 10 different guys so you know this is just a way of life and it's a normal way of life down here and it's acceptable so I'm gonna estimate it at about three guys per day because that will take into consideration of like if they got like five guys or six guys in one day and some days they got one or none so it kind of average out to about three guys per day 
and then I'll also do the numbers for if they got only like one a day and then also like five days five five and five in one day and that way you guys can uh, see so so at three guys a day working five days a week the total per week comes out to 15 different clients per week and then per month that comes out to 60 clients and then in a year guess how much you can do the math if you're quick at math 720 I don't know what else to say to, to keep saying I guess I could just say keep saying so they got 720 different dudes running up in them and that's at a that's at an estimate of uh, like uh, only seven or whatever working five days three a day 10 15 per week 60 per month 720 per year and then you break that down they just made seventy two thousand dollars in that year and here's the problem guys like they'll make all this fucking money but they got nothing to show for it they're making in one day what people make in one month they can make like the average salary is around four hundred dollars five hundred a month for people that live in these countries you know like if they're making that much in three in one in one day and they have nothing like here's the problem they have nothing to show for it with all this stuff they make they make it one month they blow it all they feel like they're millionaires they go on spending sprees they buy expensive makeup they go on trips they buy cars they buy they rent luxury apartments and that's where all the money goes and then they get caught in this loop of like kind of like the american dream loop where got when americans what's up man he's here now uh, i'm doing a quick video on some math Good. yeah you're gonna like this video yeah, like, yeah. i had a spreadsheet put together so, so seriously yeah so what i've said so far is that working five five days a week for the girls here yeah at three clients per day that's 15 clients per week uh and then 60 clients per month and in a year they went through 720. <laughs> <laughs> well that sounds like a lot john that's just one year <laughs> yeah, so, yeah i'll get you in this one let me okay, oh, scoot over here before i forget you oh yeah thank you man make sure uh you don't get scammed master yeah i will <laughs> you do we learn they're, they're gonna get us some 30 dollar fucking champagne i know i'm gonna bring that up yeah. so yeah even he's shocked at the number this is something we don't think about it's in the back of our minds but we don't ever like actually sit do the calculations and like come up with a exact number to like bring it into perspective 700 guys different guys so yeah. different clients in a year yes and some of these girls been working five ten but my friend nine years and i'm gonna do the math on nine years on how five years nine years however many years that when these girls tell you how long they've been working here i know it's gonna turn you off but it ain't gonna stop you guys like everyone lives in denial of like how much they're actually going we're all in denial we don't want to think about it. that's the last thing we want to think about when we're here but i just want to put it in this perspective and the last thing I was saying before you came here is that that's a seventy-two thousand dollar a year cash. salary they just made in yes. cash. Yes. They didn't pay taxes on it, yes. so they made a shitload of money. And what's the annual wages in Mexico? Like fifty-five hundred dollars or six thousand dollars? Four hundred dollars a month, around what? Yeah, like five, five grand. grand. Yeah. They just made. They made over times from us. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, that much more than the average. Per and then I was getting into like the reason they don't have anything to show for it when they start making this money it goes to their head they feel like they're millionaires they start buying expensive uh clothes bags purses traveling they rent a luxury apartment they buy a car and then what they do is they get trapped in like the american uh dream cycle you know like yes. the more you work the bigger the house you get the bigger yes. the car you get and you have the, all these payments to where you can't stop working yes otherwise you lose it and they don't think about that they don't think about their exit strategy of how they're going to leave this place and like no, they live for the day don't they? they live for the day or the week at the most yes. maybe a month in advance yes. as far as they'll think like if they got a trip coming up they that's about as far as they're gonna think but other than that they don't think about nothing maybe if they have a kid they wonder like how who's gonna support them or what if but most of the time they don't have a plan and they don't have any kind of investment or anything it's very rare i also based on all the girls that i've met and uh seen that have uh, actually gotten themselves out of this work it's very rare for them to get out without the help of a sugar or a sucker simp that yes. marries them or whatever because none of them have any kind of business sense or uh, saving or investing or whatever like i said they spend all the money faster than, well yeah they do spend it at about the same amount <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that they're, they're earning it yes you know and so that's why i wanted to bring this into light and the other thing is they don't got to pay taxes on this like an american making seventy two thousand dollars a year got to pay taxes maybe about 30 percent so he only made like 50 grand after taxes 
So no. they're making more than an American, but like their poor business decisions, their poor financial decisions leaves them with nothing to show for at the end of the year that they they worked here. Yes, so I'm gonna show you guys in five years uh, they would have made five hundred forty thousand working here, and then for my friend that was working nine years, nine hundred and seventy-two thousand. Yes. Imagine that almost a million fucking dollars that they wrapped. And this doesn't include this doesn't include sugar daddies giving donations or tips. Or it doesn't drinks, include the drink, drink commissions yeah. that they make. So this is just based on the number of clients they get to go on the honeymoon with them. And you wanna know how many guys that is? For five years how many guys that is? Three thousand six hundred! <laughs> oh my god. Yes. How about the one in nine years? Six thousand four hundred and eighty. Imagine that, guys. Yes. God damn, that's nearing almost 10,000 right there. <laughs> that's a lot. It's unbelievable, yeah. man. So, like, that's why I wanted to do that. Let's say they only work four days. Okay, let's say they work four days a week at three guys. That's 12 per week, 48 per month, 576 guys per year. Yeah. And their salary they made for that for the year, 57,600. And then there's another place where they charge 150. I also calculated that. They would have made 86,400 charging 150. Not that many guys either per week. Yeah, not yeah. that many guys. And so here, they would have made, what do we have here? Four days a week working, three, three guys a day. They would have made 432,000 within five years. Yes. And then nine years, 777,600 in nine years. This is fucking big money, guys. guys. Yeah. You know? And then... In five years, at four guy, uh, four days a week, three guys a day, two thousand eight hundred eighty, fucking dudes. So <laughs> then five thousand one hundred eighty four at nine years. So that's the math right there. Oh, you want to get a little bit more aggressive, guys? I did the math. Uh, let's say, let's say they work six days a week. That's possible. Yeah, Some of them work six days a week. They got nothing else better to do. At three guys a day, six days a week, eighteen. A uh, six, six six days a week is eighteen guys a week. 72 a month, 864 dudes per year, and earning an 86,400 salary at 100. Working five years, that's 648,000. And working nine years, $1,166,400. Tax free, guys. And the number of guys for five years, 4,320. And then for nine years, 7,776. These numbers are quite shocking, guys. Like. Like, I was like thinking, man, it's kind of disgusting, but like I said, it doesn't stop any of us from going anywhere. We don't think about it. Like, it's the same for any country you go to. This is the kind of math. And imagine, this is even worse for like the churn and burn massage parlors in America where they're just there in and out yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. They got even more numbers. Their numbers are even better than this. So like, imagine these girls that are at these Asians or they've been doing it. You, you'll see like in the massage parlors, some of these Asian ladies are old already imagine how many years of service that yes. more than nine years yes and they make the same thing and they ain't paying taxes it's all cash so i'm going to show you this picture it says uh u.s it says uh u.s nevada sex worker retires after 76 oh at 76 God. after 54 years oh of satisfying wow. 500 000 clients including four american presidents you see that guy? She actually looks pretty good, 76. Shit, I know, dude. And, uh, <laughs> so and she wrote, thank you for your cervix. Scroll for the cervix. <laughs> so that's, that's not too far from the numbers that I've just given you guys. 500,000 at 54 years of service, that's uh, like 10,000 guys a year. Right? And, uh, based on my numbers here, three, three guys per day at... Uh, uh, six, five days. Yeah, that's they will. They're already. Thousand, so it's going to be more than that. Actually, you them no, I already did the math. I just yeah. told them uh, at three guys a day at uh, five days a week. That's already seven thousand. So uh, let's see how many guys that is. In nine years, they're already at six hundred forty-eight, six hundred forty-eight thousand. No, six thousand four hundred eighty dudes. Yes. yes. That's Ten years. We add another year of like how much is in a year? Seven hundred. So she was but, a busy girl. Yeah, this one was busy. Yes. So, like, that's already another over seven thousand that they're getting in ten years. So her numbers, the numbers of the, of the girls here, is not off, far off from what this girl you know, that I just showed the article for. So, I thought that was funny and something for you guys to think about. And like, uh, 
you know, let's see if there's any uh, things that I didn't leave. And here's the, here's the problem. Even though they're making this kind of money now, they get used to it, and then they don't appreciate it no more. They, they're they ungrateful and they want more. Yes. They want more and nothing is gonna ever satisfy them. It's gonna be very hard to satisfy. And like I said, they're corrupted at this point. And for you guys that have the money and you fall in love with one of these girls and you're one of the ones that gets them out of this place, good luck. <laughs> well, good luck it's yeah. gonna be hard to get that out of their system. It right? is. That mentality of just like uh, being here, having fun, partying all the time. and being with different guys and then having to stop all of a sudden cold turkey and then go with someone to a foreign place uh, where they don't know anybody they don't belong the family's not there yeah, the, the family's not there, there. Yeah. the kids maybe the kids, the kids will be home. petitioned yeah but the family's not there their friends aren't there it's probably the weather's cold a different language yeah different, different language they stand out and the people aren't as nice they're not going to feel good they're going to be very lonely depressed and like even more sad yeah. and not be happy to make you happy and so, like I was saying uh, earlier, the number of girls that I've seen leave this place successfully without a guy helping them, maybe out of 100, maybe two of them successfully have been smart with their investment, the money invested it, or put themselves through school if they never got a got in, got out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got, in. They got out real quick, did what they came to do, and they didn't get caught up in the cycle of buying all these expensive things and just the easy money and thinking it's gonna last forever. Yes. You know, this is the same problem that like waitresses and bartenders and you know, you'll see the same bartender in the same bar for years because he gets addicted to the cash and he doesn't know anything else. Yes. And then yes. he just gets stuck in that same loop of renting because they feel like they're making so much money. They feel like it's a lot of money. Yes. But they're all, they're stuck behind a bar. It's like a little prison cell for them. So yes. it's working. And I've seen a lot of my bartender friends, that's the life they live. For like 20 years they've been bartenders, yeah. you know, and they're still doing it. Yeah. Like they're stuck. And I feel bad, you know, but it's no different from these girls getting trapped. They get trapped in that uh, cash businesses like that. They get trapped and, yes. you know, they, they don't plan or. You know, it can happen in the Western culture. If you don't have an end plan, you know, you, yeah. might, you might make a lot of money, work hard, you're 40 yep. years old and have no, nothing to show for it. Yeah. So, it, and then, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but having an end plan and goals and, and not live for the day, but do guess the future. We're the different cultures, the Philippines and Latina culture, are like, we'll live for the day. Yeah. But we have more opportunity in the Western culture, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, but it's getting worse because everyone's getting so distracted with TikTok, Instagram, and like right, their attention spans are very short. They can't focus on anything. They can't finish nothing. It's hard for them to finish projects yes. or start. They'll start, but they'll never finish. Like a lot of things they start, they never finish. And so that's the problem we're starting to have with this generation coming up. Yeah, they want that instant gratification. Yes, that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. They want to get rich quick. They want to like do only. The girls want to do OnlyFans or whatever, thinking that that's their salvation. But you know, opening an OnlyFans is not. Like majority of the girls think that they're gonna make so much money by going on OnlyFans, but it's no different than opening a YouTube channel thinking you're gonna become a YouTube celebrity. Yeah. Everyone can open a YouTube channel, <laughs> but how many become successful? Yeah, exactly. And that's what these girls don't understand that it's a lot of work and they don't have the discipline and the consistency to become successful at it. And they don't know what to say or do. They think just taking mirror selfies of them naked is gonna do it. Yeah. Guys are gonna get bored of that. They want the connection. Yes. You know, they wanna feel like they're, they're being appreciated and these girls, don't know how to do that. No, they think, oh, look at here's my picture. Boom, pay me. That's not. It doesn't last long. Won't last long. Yeah, that's it. I thought I'd share that with you guys and like bring it to light. I thought it was a, a good, fun fact. I guess we could call yes. it. So. Yes. And I want. I want to interject. And I, I'm. A, I never did really look at the numbers, but when I was in love with that one lady, uh -huh. then I started putting the numbers about. She was a top earner, four or five guys a day, yep. seven, six days a week, yep. with 25 or 30 dudes. Yeah. And that, that's all I could think about. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I had to go through it, but that's how I put the number situation. It just. Uh, so just be careful about not falling in love there, guys. Yeah, please don't. And like, if you do, you gotta watch out. Get it. Get an STD test of the girl before you make her yours and take it with you because that's a lot. That's a lot of dudes. Lot of dudes right? And like, imagine out of all those dudes, they didn't use a condom with every single one of them. Guaranteed. Yeah, no, like, no. If the girl was super attracted to the guy and he's super hot oh, and, and, money, yeah. and paid her extra and she said yes. Yes. Yeah. Guys, you know, like, just be careful. Water like, beware. Yeah. So take that, take those numbers and like, let me know in the comments if it scared you off and you don't feel like coming or participating in this kind of stuff no more. But a lot of guys don't care. They'll still come on down. Yeah. They'll still be here. They're going to write a comment. I'll see you there. <laughs>
Friday night in Hong Kong. Yeah, I told them it's Friday night and to get their asses down here because it says right here, Valentine's Day party, February 8th, and you're guaranteed to fall in love and find your Valentine's down here. So. All right, guys, that's it for now. Adios, pura vida. See you guys, good luck. All right, guys, so I'm putting together these groups, the my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's gonna be two levels to it. You're gonna have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year at least, and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience, and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they wanna live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they wanna start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new and then the Jedi Masters, what we're gonna do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my video, my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my, me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together. Cause I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally, because there's no one else you can take. You can't tell your friends, can't tell your family. And there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I want to bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of want to live this lifestyle as well. So if you're interested in joining the Jedi Master Inner Circle, still putting together all the fine details, but I'll put you guys on a wait list. Send me an email and let me know which Jedi Master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you want to be in. There's going to be either the Young Jedi or the Jedi Masters. And the Jedi Masters is going to be 500 for you guys to join. That's the, the screening process. And then we got the Young Jedis for 50 bucks. That way it's affordable. And the 500 is to screen out. Obviously, if you're doing well, 500 isn't much. And then it keeps out the people that aren't serious. It's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real. And of course there's gonna be moderation and there's gonna be like con content moderation where I moderate who gets in and interview the people that wanna come in to make sure they're real. And that way everyone that's in the group is actually there because they wanna be and that they share this similar outlook on life and wanna live this type of life and level up even more, make more connections, make more friends kinda of like me and Tim the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with. It'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make, make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together. So if you're interested, send me an email and then put wait list you'd want to be on. And then as soon as I'm ready, I'll notify all you guys that it's ready. And then we'll put you guys in maybe a telegram or a discord, or I'm still trying to figure out the logistics, but once it's ready, then you guys will be invited once you pay the entrance fee and then we'll get you in. All right, guys, that's it. Adios, pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. Uh, <laughs> bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If, if you're heading down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money. You could be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank, a thousand, two thousand to the bank every month. You take it and go on a vacation. Look at the ocean, how beautiful it is down here. And the weather is perfect. It's so early in the morning, I'm already sweating. It's tropical and like, people are swimming down there, if you could see. And I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves. But like I said, if you own a business, uh, you don't have to pay for the fees. You can use it for vacation, take your family out, reinvest in your business, 
or whatever it is you want to do on with it. It's just it's way better than wasting it, paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return. So that's it. Uh, send me an email or write in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios. Pura